Premièrement, mon nom n'est pas Bailey, c'est Malcolm. Jeff Malcolm. Il y a longtemps que je voulais t'en parler. Je n'aime pas ce qui se rattache. Ça va te faire mal. Doesn't matter. Well, the first thing that I want to get off my chest is uh, my name isn't Bailey. It's Markham. Jeff Markham. Should have told you before I meant to, but I kept putting it off because I don't like any part of it. Some of it's going to hurt you. ourselves detectives. Winter time. Coldest day I could remember. A guy hires me to go to Mexico and bring back some dame who had shot him and split with 40,000 bucks. I asked the guy why he'd picked me, you know. He said with a big smile, well, I know a lot of smart guys and a few honest ones, but you're both. So all I had to do was fly down to Acapulco and wait. Near the town plaza was a little cafe next to a movie house. I sat there half asleep in the afternoons and drank beer. Only the music from the movie next door kept me awake. And then I saw her coming out of the sun. I knew why the boss didn't care about his 40 grand. After our first encounter, she said to me, if it gets too lonely, there's a little cantina down the street called Pablo's. It's nice and quiet. For a dollar, you can hear American music, sip bourbon and close your eyes. I sometimes go there. I went to Pablo's that night. I knew I'd go every night until she showed up. I knew she knew it. I even knew she wouldn't come the first night, but I sat there like a sucker, crying to get out. But the next night I knew she'd show. She waited until it was late, and then she walked in, smiling, out of the moonlight. What a coincidence, I said. I've been sitting here for three hours. I thought the guy was going to break out with melancholy, baby. She said, shall I take you somewhere else? I said, you're going to find it very easy to take me anywhere. When are you taking me back, she asked. You know your boss didn't die. She was surprised, but said, I didn't take the money. Do you believe me? I said, baby, I don't care. I never saw her in the daytime. We seemed to live by night. What was left of the day left like a pack of cigarettes you'd smoked. I didn't know where she lived. I never followed her. All I had to go on was a place and time to see her again. I don't know what we were waiting for. Maybe we thought the world would end. Maybe we thought that it was a dream and we'd wake up with a hangover in Niagara Falls. Put your heat away, Mr. Malcolm. J'aimerais pas mourir comme l'ailleurs du film qu'on a vu hier soir. Pour chasser de toutes parts, plus d'issue, la police, les copains. Moi, ça me plairait. 